I miss a lot of school because of my arthritis. And last year, my attendance was 71%. I find concentrating the most challenging because the pain makes you lose concentration. So it's like someone pecking your head in the background. If I do get like a random sharp pain, I'll then miss the information, or that's all I'm thinking about. If my pain is worse on a specific day, sometimes my body just kind of shuts down so I don't actually pass out but even if I'm hearing stuff it just goes over me and then I have to like talk to the teacher afterwards and be like I'm so sorry I was listening but I just couldn't catch any of it. A flare up would be a period of time where your symptoms get worse. Typically for me a flare up just random out of the blue. Sometimes I can struggle to get upstairs and uh, I can like tire out a lot more quickly than usual however sometimes it's not like that and it's just an average day. My condition affects my tiredness levels and I just don't feel like I have any energy like I used to. I have to miss a lot of school for hostel appointments, so I do struggle catching up. And medication sometimes, it can make you feel like a bit drowsy or a bit dizzy and things like that. I think the fact that it's a physical disability, I think sometimes it annoys me that it affects my academic work to like not be able to get to places when my head's there and ready to learn. For homework, I can pace myself and make sure that I've got time and not in pain. But in exams, because it's under time conditions, I think it's an added pressure, like having to think about your pain. Yeah, so I think it's so frustrating if you're having a bad day when it comes to the exam mm. day because there's nothing you can do about it. If you're sore, you're sore. Especially when you wake up and you're like, I don't think I can face words and mm. typing today. Yeah. And it's like the stress, like building it up as well. And then it's like, obviously, like, obviously maths and the stress build up to that. And then it's like... And I had a scribe for my maths as well. And it's quite difficult because you're having <laughs> to see <laughs> like... You describe that. Yeah, you have to see what you want them exactly, mm. what you want them to write, and you're having to see all like formulas and stuff, that's quite confusing. Oh no, I get extra time yeah. and a computer. Yeah. Yeah. As I'm in sixth form, my exams tend to be a lot longer, so I get extra time to help me with um, completing the working time and making sure I can get everything done. And I also am allowed to leave the exam hall to go for a stretch if it's like longer than an hour. I was able to have take my adapted pens into the exam, so for some questions where I didn't want to use a scribe, I could write them myself. The schools made exams a bit more manageable because um, they've put in place the rest breaks and made sure I knew when to take them. When I get stressed, my whole body kind of shuts down a bit with my arthritis, so I can't be that stressed. So that I know where to go, I'll go to the nurses and make sure I'm not stressed during exam time. I get notes for anything that's coming up on the board, so that means like I don't have to copy all that out. I'd say writing's quite hard as well. Like if you're trying to write a lot, if um, you struggle with it in your fingers, wrists, sometimes it just gets tiring to write. Yeah, I I really struggle with writing, but my school have let me type. Yeah, yeah. so you can type in exams. Yeah. My school has given out laptops to everyone. I think it does help because it doesn't put the same pressure on you to like keep up with everyone else in class. The school have been completely amazing with supporting me with my arthritis and helping me be able to learn and be able to get through school. I can have someone write or type for me, I can just sit there and listen and listen. The school have let me take um, painkillers. I've been given extended deadlines if I'm in too much pain or been too tired to complete the coursework. I had a chemistry teacher that whenever I'd miss lessons, I used to get free periods, so she would spend time with me in my free periods to like catch me up on work I'd missed. I also had a teacher like that. He would take me out of lessons, and if I missed a lesson due to appointments, he would make sure I understand it before I went back to the lesson. Communication is incredibly important. It's like the main thing that's helped me through everything. It will make your time at school or just your life so much easier once you've talked to someone. My guidance teacher spoke to me. I now see her regularly and update her what's going on at hostel. Um, but she was able to email all my teachers to make them aware. And all my teachers have been great. They always ask me if, if I need any help. Every academic year, we'd have a meeting with head of year and tutor, let them know this is exactly what needs to happen. We'd just be very open with the school so that they sort of knew as much as we did. Just being open and telling folk how you're feeling. If you're having a bad pain day, 
say something, people can't read your mind. So I think it's important that you're able to talk about how you're feeling.